somebody called about um, post-operative jiggling of fluid in a breast biopsy. So yeah, that's actually normal. What happens is uh, breast heals by what's called seromatous formation. So seromatous formation is where it fills up with fluid and then your body kind of says, okay, now we can start throwing stuff across the top of it and the bottom of it to be able to heal. Um, so if you're running up and down the stairs and you just had breast surgery, feeling something slosh around is normal. Throwing spikes. Okay, we got them. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh huh. Um, her job read her schedule wrong. Okay. She can't come in. When can she come in? And she cannot come in until next Monday. That's fine. That'll work. With their that'll work. That'll work. Okay. So that's still okay. Yes, ma'am. That'll this work. Is three or four. This is not. Yes, ma'am. That's fine. That's fine. Also, the Kellogg injections, you do them after keloids. This is not even what we're supposed to be talking about today, but um, keloids, you usually get an injection once a week for the first four weeks. So you get four injections. The first one is at the time of surgery. Uh, this lady has to skip one. Not a big deal. It happens. I'm not worried about it. Um, so she'll be fine. But what we were supposed to talk about today was a video that I just posted about lipomas. I've never actually cut into a lipoma before, but somebody asked me to. So this is what's going on in this video. So you can see we just cut it out, popped it out. This was a shoulder lipoma. It's not a big deal. A lipoma itself is really just a fat ball. Um, it's not cancerous because it doesn't grow out of control and it doesn't invade other structures, but it's technically what we call a tumor. Um, what you can see is me cutting into that tumor and it's just a bun bunch of fat cells. It looks like a big scallop, really big scallop, like giant scallop, but it's just all fat. And um, yeah, that happens. Uh, when we cut them out, they come in different shapes and sizes. This one was just one big ball. Um, we see them every once in a while where they are large loculated ones. So you'll see five or six or seven pieces that make up one large lipoma. But yeah, that's what the inside of a solid lipoma looks like. Thanks for playing.